Well, welcome back to Base Camp WNC. Well, even though it's the end of July, 1st of August, maybe by the time I get this thing posted pretty close to it, we're working on the water system and we're, of course, preparing for winter. So, this right here is a freeze proof hydrant. And if you've ever seen them in the store or seen them advertised and wanted to know, I'm going to go through this thing and show you why it is. And how I like to install these things. So we'll take you on the build. And of course this is on this homestead right here we're doing a bunch of work on. But we've just run it out of the well house. This comes out of their water system. And here's the freeze proof hydrant. But I like to take everything and go a little bit further and we're going to show you why and everything else. So we bury the bottom end of it we either use four or six inch pipe. This one right here is a piece of four inch corrugated pipe. And then I like to put a flyer pot over top of them. We'll fill that thing full of gravel for the weep hole. And I'll explain that to you and how this valve works and how to build this thing. Well, here's how we're gonna build the, the stone trap. This is just a piece of four inch corrugated pipe. I use PVC a lot, but this makes it just as easy. And this, of course, will be down in the hole. It'll be filled full of stone. But as you'll see, to keep all the dirt and water from pouring in the top, we're just gonna use a plain old one gallon nursery pot, kind of as a cap. We'll take this hole, cut across in it, slide the hydrant down through it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right down here below the edge of the pot and we're just going to take a drill and drill a hole through there for the pipe to come out. It'll make more sense when you see it. And we'll put a slit in it to get the pipe up and down through the black corrugated pipe. It'll make more sense in a minute. Let me go ahead and do that and show it to you. Well, here it is. Hard to tell. I'm working in the shade because it is hot. Here's the hole. Kind of drilled in there. It ain't pretty. We just took a saw and made a slit right down through the pipe so then when we get ready instead of trying to feed that pipe in there and thread it we can just slide the pipe down there and it'll be sitting down in the hole well here it is like i said all we did was take that center hole cut a little bit up of x slide it up over top of the thing up over top of the hydrant and like i said when we get done It'll just sit right over and come down over top of the pipe. Well, I want to show everybody how this thing works. And right now, I've just got it tied to the chive of the chicken pen. And I've got it fed with this hose. You may see it dripping a little bit there. But basically, up here at the very top, this is just a rod right here. And it goes all the way down your pipe. And the water valve is actually right down here and with it being buried two foot deep that's what keeps it from freezing but as you can see right now everything's fine when you come up here turn the water on it takes a second for the water to come up come out but here's why it's important to have gravel and a place for this water to drain is when you shut it off Right here is the valve where all the water comes out. Because the valve is actually down here. It shuts off. And now it is draining all the water in this pipe. All the way up to here. And that's what keeps it from freezing. I wanted to show it the, this part of it right here working. And when I put it in the ground it will make a little bit more sense. And I got a pretty good set of audience right here. I got all the girls out here checking this thing out. I've been throwing them worms as I've been digging up. So I got a captive audience here. Well, here we are. We went ahead and carried a bunch of gravel around. You turn it on. Hopefully you don't get your feet too wet. It'll make a puddle. But that's it. That's how a freeze-proof hydrant works. Make life a little bit simpler this winter, not having to carry water, or put it in buckets or milk jugs. So, and I know the girls right here to my left, right here, all the 
I've had a bunch of supervisors here the whole time I was there. They just standing over there. Like I said, every time I'd dig a worm up, I'd throw over there and they'd all go nuts. But I've had a captive audience and a bunch of supervisors the whole time. But as usual, if I can help you out, give you some advice, anything else, don't hesitate. Emails right there and everything else. But as always, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. See you next time.